Greetings again everyone. Here we are going to solve another unique algebraic equation. Only geniuses can solve these equations in under 2 minutes. You can prove me wrong in the comments. Now before we dive into this lesson, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now we start to solve this equation by taking 36 and we bring it over to the left hand side where it becomes a negative. So now we have x squared minus x cubed minus 36 equals 0. Okay, so now we have this negative 36 and we know that 36 can be broken down into negative 27 minus 9. So from here we can rewrite our equation with this in mind. So we'll rewrite that and now we say that x squared minus x cubed minus 27 and we also have minus 9. Now we can further simplify this expression by having 27 which is the same as 3 cubes or negative 3 cubes and for 9 we also have 3 squared or negative 3 squared and so therefore we rewrite our equation as follows so we have x squared and we group x squared with negative 3 squared and we do the same for x cubed so now we have negative x cubed and we group that with negative 3 cubes and also let's not forget that this is equal to 0 now let's recall our algebraic rules where we have the difference of two squares and here we have the difference of two cubes. However from here we can factor negative 1 from negative x cubed minus 3 cubes. So we do this as follows so we have x squared minus 3 squared and factoring out this negative 1 we say negative 1 in brackets we would have x cubed plus 3 cubes and of course we don't forget that this is equal to 0. So now from here we expand the difference of two squares as we know it. So we know that a squared minus b squared equals a plus b in one pair of brackets and in the other pair we have a minus b. Now here we have the sum of two cubes and we expand this by saying a cube plus b cube equals a plus b in one pair of brackets and in the second pair we have a squared minus ab plus b squared. So now that we recall how to expand our difference of two squares and the sum of two cubes, we'll be rewriting our equation with this understanding. So then we start with the difference of two squares, so we'll have x plus 3 in the first pair of brackets and in the second pair we'll have x minus 3. So from here we have minus 1 and the sum of two cubes we expand that by saying x plus 3 in the first pair of brackets and in the second pair would have x squared minus 3x plus 3 squared. Now we will simplify our equation by factoring out x plus 3. So we'll have x plus 3 in one pair of brackets and in the other pair we rewrite in brackets x minus 3 and we'll have minus 1, don't forget that, as minus 1 is still multiplying x squared minus 3x plus 3 squared. We know that 3 squared is just 9, so we could just rewrite that as just 9. So we'll close that. And of course, this still all equals to 0. Now, we can apply our 0 property rule, which states that if two expressions multiply together to give us 0, either one of them is equal to 0 or both are equal to 0. So here we have x plus 3 equals 0. And we also have x minus 3 minus 1 in brackets x squared minus 3x plus 9 equals 0. And so in solving x, we'll have more than one solutions for x. So here we'll start with x plus 3 equals 0. And we know if we subtract 3 on both sides of this equation, we know that x equals negative 3. And now for our next solutions for x, we'll have to simplify this expression here. So we'll have x minus 3 and we multiply whatever is inside the bracket by negative 1. So we'll have negative x squared plus 3x minus 9. And of course, this is still equal to 0. So now what we have here is a quadratic expression. I'll be simplifying this quadratic equation by grouping like terms. So we'll start by having negative x squared. And we know that 3x plus x gives us 4x. And we have negative 3 and negative 9 which gives us negative 12. So now we have our equation looking more clearly as our quadratic equation. But from here we need to get rid of this negative in front of our x squared. So we do this by dividing our equation by negative 1. And so therefore we would have x squared minus 4x plus 12 equals 0. And from here we will be solving x. 
Now to solve x, we'll be using our quadratic formula where we know the values of a, b, and c in such that a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to 12. So we'll be plugging in these values into our quadratic formula, which our quadratic formula states that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So plugging in our values into our quadratic formula would have x is equal to minus and in brackets the value of b which is negative 4 and we have that plus or minus the square root of b squared which is negative 4 being squared minus 4 times a times c which is 4 times 1 times 12 and this is all over 2 times a which is a is 1 so that's 2 times 1. And with that we'll have x is equal to here we know we have negative times a negative is a positive so we have 4 plus or minus the square root of we have negative 4 being squared is positive 16 and that's minus 4 times 1 times 12 which is equal to 48 and we know 2 times 1 is 2 so that's all over 2. Now in writing this equation out further we'll have x is equal to we we'll still have our 4 so we we'll have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 48 that gives us negative 32 and this is all over 2. Now this solution for x we can rewrite that a bit more clearly so that x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 32 and we will have this times the square root of negative 1 and this is just a way of factoring out negative 1 here so this is still all over 2 now we know that the square root of negative 1 is represented by the imaginary number which is i and so therefore that leaves us with x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 32 i all over 2. So this is our solution for x, we know that this is actually two solutions but these solutions for x are complex so these are complex solutions as this gives us no real solution for x. Now if we go back our real solution is that x is equal to negative 3. Now if you like this video so far you can give me a thumbs up. Also please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Now from here we'll be verifying our real solution we said that x is equal to negative 3. So we know that our original equation states that x squared minus x cubed equals 36. Since we know the value of x, we will now put that in. So we know that that's negative 3 being squared minus negative 3 being cubed equals 36. We know that negative 3 being squared is going to give us a positive value. So that gives us positive 9. And then we are subtracting the result of negative 3 being cubed. We are negative 3 being cubed means negative 27. And is that equal to 36? We know that a negative and a negative will always give us a positive. So from here we have 9 plus 27. And is that equal to 36? Now let's do the math. 9 plus 27 equals 36. So there you have it. Our solution is verified. Our real solution for x is that x is equal to negative 3. Now thanks again for staying tuned with me to the end of this video, I hope that this was very informative. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to stay connected for more math videos like these ones. And until then, I'll see you again soon, thanks again and take care.